Okay, so this is something I would also change. Um, it's easy to change now because I haven't animated yet. The rotation of those, rotation order of this, I don't like. I don't like that Y. Uh, you can see it here. I want Y to respect my X orientation. Um, we can talk a little bit about rotation order. We'll talk about it more here. This rig allows you to change it. And the easiest way to read rotation order um, is this says Z, Y, X. Um, read it backwards, right to left. The rotation order of this is actually Y, X, Z. And thinking about that, so Y is most important. If I hold down E and I go to gimbal, if I rotate Y, which is the first one, right to left, both of the other axes will move. See how they all move? So Y influences all of them. X will not move Y, it will only move Z. Okay, it only moves Z, and Z will not affect the others at all. So reading it right to left, Y, X, Z. Now I want X, you know, if I tilt her head down, I want to then still to be able to rotate X and follow along with that, that tilted head. Um, so what that means is I want X to be the quote unquote most important. So I'm gonna break this and pick one that is more X, probably Y, Z. So let's find that X, Y, Z. Um, now it changed her pose a little bit, um, but now you can see the rotation order. If I rotate X, both of them move. So I can have her look all the way up and still do nice head turns, right? Or all the way down. I should check this at the beginning. One of the things I usually do is check rotation order. Um, they already animated this and I noticed, oh man, I'm in the wrong rotation order. Like I'm running into a problem. How do I fix this? This is a, another script. I say I don't use a lot of them. This is one I use a lot. Um, it's called Convert Rotation Order. Um, I think Morgan Loomis is the name of the technical artist that worked on it. So if you already animate a controller and you change the rotation order, it will break your animation, right? Um, if you think about it, like say I, I did a lot of spins or something, and all of a sudden I changed the rotation order, those spins may not work anymore. This allows you to, it like does some baking magic that allows you to change the rotation order without breaking your animation. And also it's great, if this is confusing what I just talked about, we can do it again. This gives you tips for the best rotation order. So I can select this, hit get tips, and it's recommending me the best one. Um, it wants to use ZYX. It wants to use this one for if you're animating world space, but I'm actually gonna use the one I picked first because I want X to follow everything. But you know, it says I'm actually 23% gimbaled. And you can see like the Z is on its way. If I keep rotating the head down and down and down, eventually this is where you get gimbal lock is when these axes cross over each other. And that's where you get these weird hitches in animation or the arm flips out because um, you're, 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 you're getting what's called gimbal lock. But I'm gonna use this one. I can just click that button and it changes it for me. Uh, and it would preserve your animation. But now it has, um, oops, X is my most important one.